Hi everyone, so today I want to show you this card which I did make in a live stream and it's a 6x6 triple Z fold card. So this is one that I did see online somewhere, I can't remember where and I can't remember who did it but it, was, it wasn't it was a 6x6, it was a different size. Um, so I basically worked out these measurements myself. So I quite like it, I quite like the way it opens up, I like the fact you've got those triple layers um, and obviously yeah. It just is quite a nice card. It folds down relatively flat. As long as you don't use too thick a layers, which I did here. I did use quite a lot of layers. But as long as your layers aren't too thick, then, um, yeah, it's not too bad. You could post it. Just bear that in mind when you're choosing your base, your mat, and your pattern layers. Don't go too thick. Um, so this card, particularly this one here, I've used my own papers on this. This is the Silent Night Pack. Um, this was one of the dies I got from the charity shop, so I'm not sure where that's originally from. The little brad in the middle, it's actually a brad, um, was one I was given. This piece die is from Trimcraft, which is now DRK Crafts. Um, and I think it was either a Dovecraft or it was a first edition, but I'm not sure which one. But it's from a while ago anyway. Um, yeah, and then the navy card... Mm, not sure i think that might be paper mill direct the navy card the gold is from um dovecraft gold mirror card and then as i said my own papers so yeah so i've anyway, got space on the back there to write obviously it folds flat down in to fit into an envelope for a six by six card so let's get into it okay so for this card you're going to need one piece of base card that is six by twelve one piece that's four by ten and one piece that is two by eight okay so on the six by twelve you want to score it along the long edge at three inches and at six inches then on the next piece which is the four by ten you're going to do the same so along the long edge you're going to score it at three inches and at six inches then on the short piece which is two by eight Guess what you're going to do? You're going to score it at three inches and at six inches. So it's nice and easy. Three and six all the way along. Now, if you would have seen my live stream, I would have done it slightly differently because what happened on that, I wasn't using a 12 inch length piece of card. So if you have a 12 inch, if you have an A4 or a letter size um, card, then if you watch my live stream, um, which I will... I'll try and link it if I can. Um, I'll try and put a little card up in the top right hand corner. If um, if that doesn't appear for any reason, just have a look back on my channel and have a look at playlists and look at the live section or even just under lives. You can do that on there um, and you should see this because, yeah, I have done this relatively recently um, and I'll show you how I do it with something that isn't 12 inch in length. OK. So, right, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this round so that my three and six is on the left-hand side. And we're just going to do a mountain and a valley fold. So a mountain there, valley there. So that's kind of like the start of what you'd normally do for a Z fold. So that is your mountain and your valley. So that's what you end up with. And we're going to do that with all of them. So with this one here, again, your three and your six is on the left-hand side. So you've got like a square here. And again... We're just going to fold up to be a concertina. And then on the small one, again, you three and you six, and then you've got a small square. So again, just going to concertina fold this. Just make sure you're kind of concertina folding it straight. So you end up with that. So that's all your base card pieces done. So, if we start with the decoration, I'm going to start with the biggest piece first. So, I'm using today, I'm using papers that are from Antonio Makes. So, this is his A Magical Garden um, paper, and it's absolutely beautiful. So, if you head over to antoniomakes.com, and if you use my code, which is Louise10, you'll get yourself 10% off, and that includes 10% off on... Um, 10% off on your membership, VIP memberships as well. So for decoration, you're going to need two pieces of mat that are five and three quarters by five and three quarters. One's going to go on the front here, one's going to go on the back, and that's going to then have a, this one would then have a white piece on it, if it's not already white, which is what you'll write your message on. 
obviously mine's already white so because of that i'm not going to bother with a white piece as well but if you if you, you know if your mat isn't white then you'll need that so that's going to go on the back and then your pattern piece and your white piece will be five and a half by five and a half so that's those two pieces and then these two here you need two mat pieces that are two and three quarter by five and three quarter and then two pattern pieces that are two and a half by five and a half and they're going to go on there like that so i'm going to go ahead now and stick all these down okay so you should end up with that so you've got a z fold and you've got a white bit on the back all sorted so next we want to bring in the next biggest piece which is this and for this you are going to need and again i'm using antonio makes paper again uh, this is all again out the same pack you're going to need one piece of mat that is three and three quarters by three and three quarters and on top of that a pattern piece that's three and a half by three and a half so that's going to go there and then you need two pieces now don't do what i do so i cut mine the wrong way around so that one should really be that way around so make sure that they're portrait if you've got directional papers um, so you need two pieces of mat that are two and three quarter by three and three quarter and two pieces of pattern that are two and a half by three and a half and so they're going to go on there so i'm going to go ahead now and stick those down so you end up with that so that's all nicely done now we need to bring in the last piece which is this one and you're going to need for this one piece of mat that is one and three quarter by one and three quarter and a piece of pattern that's one and a half by one and a half and then two pieces of mat and again this is um this time it's landscape so if you've got directional paper make sure you do it landscape so um two pieces that are two and three quarter by one and three quarter or one and three quarter by two and three quarter and so your pattern piece is one and a half by two and a half so they're going to go on there so i'm going to go ahead and stick those down okay so that's what you end up with that so if you bring your other two pieces in what we're going to do is we start with the biggest one i'm going to open it up and start with this one what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take you don't have to do a ruler you can kind of eye it if you want to but i'm going to use a ruler just so that then i know i'm definitely getting it in the right place and all i'm going to do is along this edge here i'm just going to measure an inch in make a little mark and an inch up make a little mark and then also measure an inch in this way as well so that's about there make a little mark and then we're going to put a bit of glue on the back of on the back of here so you want to do it on the back of the square so we're going to put a bit of glue on the back of the square i can already feel that this is going to end up being really quite a chunky card because again when i did this i didn't think about layers so you do really need to go thin Right, so what I'm going to do now is going to line that up with that line, this up with that mark at the bottom, and then, um, oh, there we go, and then the top one, just make sure it's all straight, really. So you want to put it so that it is completely central, nice and straight in the middle. If you open this out, you can kind of see it's not going off, it's not skewing, which mine doesn't look like it is. So I think that's okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this over here and then I'm just going to make a little mark on the back here and a little mark on the back here. Turn it over so I can see now where I need to put my glue. And then I'm just going to make sure I put that well in there. You want to use red tape or glue, something that's you know really going to stick it. And then we're just going to fold that over. And because you've done those pencil lines, you know you're not going to put glue on the inside bit where it's going to get stuck together. So I'm just going to wait for that to stick together. Okay, so that's what you should end up with. So kind of like a normal Z fold, but it's kind of normally a Z fold would be like the same as that and flipped over. So this is like a smaller, so the depth, you know, it looks slightly different to a normal Z fold. So then we're going to take this piece here 
um, and again we want to get this square bang in the middle of that so we need to do the same again so let's just measure again an inch in from the edge so an inch in from the edge is there let's find a bit where i can actually see it which is there so that's an inch in and then we want to make sure that we are an inch in from the top and an inch in from the bottom okay and then we're going to take our um zigzaggy bit we're going to put glue on the back of that square like that and then we're going to go ahead and line up again that with that the lines that we've already done so i can just about see my inch in mark it's about where is it actually <laughs> i can't see my oh it's there i see it i see it, i see it there it is so we just want to make sure we get that nice and central again and nice and straight so we're not again veering off anywhere And stick that down like that and then again we're going to concertina the whole lot in put that over the top just make a little pencil line on the back here and here and I'm doing it slightly in not right on the edge I'm just sort of doing it in line with that matte layer because then you know definitely you're definitely not going to end up with any glue where you don't want it to be and then we're just going to drop here and just glue in that line there and then turn this over and stick it down and i can feel there's quite a wodge there but again because of the amount of card so this is it does get quite wodgy um but as i said i have used you know like 120 gsm for my pattern paper this is probably 140 the, the mat and then the um base is probably about 260 so yeah it's quite a lot but yeah, so that's your card. I just really like the way it looks and I think it shows off papers really well. So then to decorate, I haven't got a greeting yet, but I will find one. I've got these beautiful butterfly, uh, not butterfly, dragonfly dies. And these dragonfly dies are from Coca Rosa Studio. So if you head over to cocorosastudio.com and use my code ICED20, you can get yourself 20% off your order. So I'm just going to use these on here like that. And then I'm going to put a greeting on there, I think. So, yeah. And I've just cut these out of um, Dovecraft Gold Miri. And then this was the Dovecraft, no, first edition foiled um, paper pad that you'll see. You can see, can you see the little gold foiling in it? So it's kind of like a black marble card. And it's got this gold and rose gold and whatever and silver as well foiling on it, like marbling. Um, and so I've used that because I thought it's quite cool. It's quite dragonfly -ish. So, yeah, I love this dragonfly. It's such a nice size. You can see how big that dragonfly is. So it comes with the body and then you get the two wings and you just stick them on separately. And I've already put the tape on the back so I can just literally just stick it straight down. So I'm going to put that there and I'm going to put that one there. And then I'm going to put a greeting somewhere. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to work that one out. OK, so I found this greeting, this thanks greeting, and I like it. But I really wanted to have a green board around it. So this is one that you stamp and then it's got a die that goes with it. However, I would like a green border around it and I don't have like another die that cuts out. So what I've done is I've taken a white piece. I'm halfway through doing it here, but I thought I'd just show you what I'm doing. So um, what I've done is I've taken a piece of white card. I've taken my thanks die. I've turned it over and put it down onto the card and I've drawn around the outside in pencil. So you can see the pencil line, but this is on the reverse. so It doesn't matter. And I'm now going with my scissors and hand cutting, not very well because I don't really do fussy cutting, um, just hand cutting round the outside, just leaving a tiny bit of a border between where my scissors are and where the pencil line is. And then what I'm going to do, because obviously this is white card, as some of you would have noticed um so therefore what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn it over and then on the other side i'm just going to color it in with a pro marker and i found a pro marker that kind of fits it is a bit rough but it's fine i think once we've pro marked it it'll probably be all right so i'm just going to get a bit of scrap paper out so a bit of scrap paper this is an old demo demo piece so that's going to fit on there and i found this one which is forest green Forest Green Pro Marker, and I'm just going to go over now 
and just kind of colour it all in. Okay, so I've coloured it in, not well, as you can see, you've got lines, but to be honest, once you put this over the top, you don't really notice the lines, like it doesn't really, you know. So I'm going to go ahead now and just stick this onto here, and then we're going to stick the whole thing onto my card and also stick the dragonflies down as well. Okay, so there's your finished card. So as you can see, it's relatively easy to do. Uh, my thanks isn't straight, but anyway, never mind. That's the way it goes. There we go. Straight up. So there you go. So yeah, so I hope you go and check out um, cocorosastudio.com. Use my code ICED20 to get yourself 20% off. Go and check out antoniomakes.com. He's got some wonderful um, digital kits over there. And if you use my code LOUISE10, you'll get yourself 10% off um and yeah please like and subscribe leave a comment down below hit the notification bell don't forget to share me as well there might be people you know who are into crafting share this video you know send it to somebody who maybe hasn't seen it and uh spread the love spread the crafting joy so yeah so i'll see you next time thank you bye